Hi there. I'm going to go over the registration procedure for corporations in Indiana. You'll find that you can file both online and through the mail. Um, the only exception to the online filing procedure is domestic benefit corporations, though the remaining entity types can file online. Um, before starting, though, we recommend that all filers perform a business entity search to check the availability of their business name. If you file with the Secretary of State using a business name that's already in use, then your application will be rejected. So click on this link here to find out how you can perform a business entity search to check the availability of your business name. You may also, if you wish, reserve your business name um, by filing a name reservation application. You can file this online in just a few minutes for $10 or for free through the mail. But through the mail will, of course, um, take longer to actually file with the state. So um, this is only necessary if you are concerned about another entity taking your business name in the time that it takes you to file for registration with the Secretary of State. Click on this link here to find out how to perform a name reservation. So moving on to the actual filing procedure, um, you'll begin by selecting either the domestic or foreign corporation links here. And these will take you to our in-depth tutorials on how to file for those specific entity types. And essentially what you're going to do is log on if you're filing online. You're going to log on to your online account and we have provided instructions on how to log or excuse me on how to um, sign up for an online account within each respective tutorial but you'll log on you will then submit your business information from your computer using the Secretary of State filing portal and then eventually you'll pay a filing fee by check credit card or e-check excuse me <laughs> by debit card credit card or e-check and um, then the filing process will be complete and you will await um, confirmation from the Secretary of State. If you're filing through the mail, you're going to download a PDF application and open it on your computer, submit your business information from your computer, and then print off the application, sign it, and forward it to the Secretary of State with the filing fee attached. And the filing fees are all located up here, but they are also, are also um, described in each tutorial, so you don't have to like keep this page open or anything. Um, so the filing fee when you're filing through the mail can be paid by check or money order made payable to the Secretary of State. And if you are a foreign entity, which means if you are applying from outside of Indiana, then you will be required to supply a certificate of good standing or a similar document issued from the initial jurisdiction of formation. All these items should be sent to this address for processing by the Secretary of State. So that's it for filing. Um, the online filing process is definitely recommended, though if you want to file through the mail, it's also not very difficult, and we've provided instructions for both. Lastly, before I sign off here, in the tips section, we've provided the information on the EIN, or Employer Identification Number, and this number is issued by the IRS and used for tax purposes. Um, basically to identify businesses like um, as if the IRS was identifying you for tax purposes. And this number can be applied for for free, both online and through the mail. And you should apply for this number directly after filing with the Secretary of State. The corporate bylaw document is not legally required in Indiana, though highly recommended because it can greatly strengthen the organizational structure of your business by defining a number of provisions that were left undocumented during the initial registration procedure, certain things like the rules and regulations that must be followed or the general conduct of business can be defined with this document. And you can download this document for free in both Microsoft Word and PDF formats by clicking on this link here. And lastly, all corporations will be required to renew with the Secretary of State by filing a business entity report. You can file online or through the mail and if you'd like to file online, you will have to create an account with the Secretary of State. Um, much like I said before, when you're filing online for your business registration formation documents, you will need to have an on online account. It's the same account. And this link will take you to the exact same website where you can navigate through that site to find the process of um, filing your business, business entity report. And if you'd like to uh, look at our tutorial on the account setup, you can do that by clicking here. And the PDF application can be downloaded here if you'd like to file through the mail. And you'll download this application and complete it and then send it to this address here. 
So that's it for now. I hope this tutorial helped. Good luck and take care.